Hey guys, this is Rahul. In my last video, we learned what is Angular, what is Angular CLI, and how we can create an Angular project with the help of Angular CLI. So uh, we learned how we can create Angular uh, project and how we run the Angular project. So you can see the, our Angular first app is running right now. Okay. In this lecture, we are going to have a short discussion about Angular first app and about its files which angular cli created for us and also we will discuss the how bootstrap uh, will use in our this angular app okay let's stop this app first Control c and y okay now let's open this project where we created our project in visual studio code okay so here i am going to use visual studio code as editor Okay, uh, so Visual Studio Code is not an option. There are a lot of options as editor to work with this project like Atom, Sublime Text, WebStorm. So it totally depends on you, which you are comfortable. Now I am going I am going to use the Microsoft Visual Studio Code. So Visual Studio Code is IDE, uh, which I am going to use throughout this whole Angular series. Okay, let's open this uh, project uh, with Visual Studio Code. So you can see I am inside this folder where I created my uh, Angular CLI created the project for me. So to open the project from the command line in Visual Studio Code, we can write code space dot and enter. So what will be happen? Whole uh, folder code uh, will be loaded into the uh, Visual Studio Code. Okay, uh, like this. So you can see there are a lot of files uh, which Angular CLI created for us. Okay, most of the files of them here are required to config configuring the project. Okay, so first the E2E file. Okay, folder. So this E2E folder is required for end-to-end -end testing about which we will discuss in detail our later video sessions. Okay. And uh, second one is SRC folder. So SRC folder is where you create your project. And the most important file is uh, in this folder is index.html. Okay. And this HTML file is only the single page which our application is going to serve. But we don't need to change anything here. We don't need to change anything here. We will write all our code inside this app folder. Okay, the assets folder, the, the assets folder can be used to store some static assets in your application like images. Okay, and the environment folder, environment folder can be used for environment variables like the application will be run in production or the development. Okay, and remaining files uh, which we didn't discuss yet, not much important right now because we will have a deeper look at all of them, all the remaining files in our upcoming videos once we uh, uh, get a little more experience on it. Okay, let's start. And uh, so we, we have gone through uh, most of the files here. So let's run this app again into the browser and see uh, the output. Okay, so we need not to open the command window. We can use this terminal window of Visual Studio Code. So we can run the we can run the same command which uh, is uh, basically used for uh, serving our app. Okay, so ng serve. Okay. Now we can see our webpack compiled successfully. So now, uh, now our app is basically running on the uh, localhost 4200, the default uh, port. Okay. So let's refresh the browser. Okay. So you can see running application in the browser. Okay. Let's change this message. Uh, let's see where is this message coming from. You can see here the title. Welcome to the title. 
okay so title is basically uh, the the dynamic uh, variable which is uh, being set from the app dot component dot ts file okay so the ts basically is a typescript file okay so here we can uh, uh, change uh, uh, the message welcome to my angular 5 app okay doing this window side by side okay so here right now it is welcome to app and when i am saving i saved it and you you see uh, the the output got changed immediately okay this is because we have our ng serve running continuously and it will watch all the files for changes and automatically recompile them and reload our project in the browser like this okay now let's come to the point uh, how bootstrap uh, configured being configured into our angular app okay so throughout this course i am going to use bootstrap to have some nice styling so let's configure bootstrap in our angular project generally to configure bootstrap framework in the application we need to import bootstrap and js libraries into our html file like here Generally, we configure the bootstrap libraries into the HTML file. So we can do the same here also, but there's a most elegant way and the most elegant way we can install it with NPM. Okay, so to install uh, the bootstrap into our project uh, using NPM, we have a command. So we can simply uh, uh, open a command prompt of Windows or we can use this terminal, the same terminal to install the bootstrap uh, package. Okay, so to right now the development server is running. So to stop this server, we press the control C and press the Y and enter. So development server is stopped and now we can install bootstrap package here npm install npm means node packet manager install and dash dash save and bootstrap after hitting enter it will install it will download the bootstrap package and put the libraries of bootstrap into this project folder from where we can easily import project libraries in the bootstrap libraries okay so it will basically download all the bootstrap library into this node modules so this node module folder basically has all the packages this project has i mean use okay so it will basically uh, download the bootstrap library into this folder from where we can use easily this bootstrap library anywhere in the project okay so you, we can see the bootstrap installed successfully in an angular i mean in the angular cli project simply open the angular ci.json file which has main role to configure the project okay like this so here you can see there are a lot of configuration which angular cli does okay here we have style array okay so in style array we have an style.css file so style.css file is coming from this where we can uh, add our uh, external CSS file and uh, um, properties. Okay, so here we can configure our, I mean, import. We can import our Bootstrap external style sheets. Okay, uh, to use, I mean, to import Bootstrap libraries, uh, we will uh, go one step above of this. Uh, file because this these 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 all configurations i mean these all uh, bootstrap libraries will be used inside the index.html file uh, with the help of angular cli so we will go one step above from this folder src folder and uh, uh, we will i mean the angular will look the bootstrap file into this node module folder okay so and uh, we will use node modules okay and bootstrap and dist and css and bootstrap 
dot main dot css so like this like this way uh, we can use the bootstrap main dot css file okay so let's save this file and run our app help of ng sub command see our app is run so we can use the same url which we uh, used earlier because you can see the some styling has been changed and let's go to inside uh, the inspect element where we can find uh, the, in the header section the bootstrap libraries has used c okay so this is the way we can configure the bootstrap libraries inside our angular project okay so this is a default project which i am going to use throughout this angular series okay so in our next video we will go through some angular basics with the same project thank you guys thank you for watching this video please like comment and subscribe my channel if you really want to learn more in angular and want to get much notification for my upcoming videos thank you